Hey guys, Cece back with another video and today's video is going to be another edition of Shut My Stash. So before we get into this video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Go down there, find it down there, the little red subscribe button. Click the subscribe button and also click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be a part of the hashtag notification gang. When you click that little bell, make sure you let me know down in the description box that you are a part of the notification gang because that makes me very happy. And it'll make you very happy because you will never miss another upload. All right, so getting right into it. Like I said, this is going to be another edition of Shop My Stash. I think this is number 26, if I'm not mistaken. We play this game every Shop My Stash video, and I can never remember, but I think this is number 26. So if you don't know what a Shop My Stash video is, basically I go through my makeup collection and I take things out to put in my normal makeup routine for the month that I have just been neglecting, that maybe is a new product and I haven't worn it yet, something I've been dying to try and I just haven't gotten to yet, something that's close to the end and I'm ready to get, get it out of my collection. So anything like that, I choose some products and I put them in this little bin and I keep them in the bin all month and I try to rotate them into my normal makeup routine. This type of video is really helpful for me because I have an obscene amount of makeup. It's not the most I've ever seen, but it's certainly not the least. And it's more makeup than I will ever use and that I will ever need. But it at least helps me rotate things in and out so I'm not just completely forgetting about everything that I've purchased. Because let's be real, makeup is pretty expensive. So you don't just want to be wasting your coins and never even touching or using the product. So this is a good way that I can remember what products that I have. I encourage everyone to do a Shop My Stash. Um, you know, of course, even if you're not filming videos, you can definitely go through your products, get a little container, put a few products in there every month and try to rotate them in and out so you're using the products that you have. I definitely encourage this. So if you do that, let me know what products are in your rotation this month. So moving into mine, I have this bin here. I have quite a few products, but they're in different categories of makeup, so I can definitely, hopefully, get them all in and be using them this month. The first product that I'm going to pull out is the new Maybelline Face Studio Blender Sponge. I've opened it, but I haven't used it yet. So they came out with their own blending sponge by Maybelline. And as you can see, it is a really nice shape. It's one of those that are kind of pinched in the middle, and then it also has the straight edge if you can see that it has like the little straight edge right here which is really good for getting in those corners and blending out your concealer and also setting your concealer with a powder so I'm excited to see how this blender sponge works I have two non-makeup items in here both of these are Peter Thomas Roth masks around I think it was Black Friday, I ended up getting this little mask set from Peter Thomas Roth. And this one is the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. So I want to go ahead and try to use that up. And I also have the Irish More Mud Purifying Black Mask. I am obsessed with black masks. I use them all the time. And so I just want to see if that one um, is any different from the cheapo ones that I have from the drugstore. Something that is extremely close to the end, and it was in last month's Shop My Stash. This is the Benefit Pore Professional Matte Rescue Primer. I am so close to finishing this baby out. I probably have maybe about, I don't know, five more uses at the most. So I'm really going to try to finish this up this month. I do not want to bring this with me to move. Like, it's just so close to the end. I'm just ready to be done with it and get it out of my collection. So I'm really working on that one. All right, what next? Let's go in with the palettes. I have two face palettes, I'm sorry, two eye palettes and one face palette. The face palette that I have is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And this is another one that I got on Black Friday. I got it at, I think, Marshalls, and it was super cheap. So I ended up picking that up. So I'm going to try to get some use out of this this month. I actually have it on my face today to contour, and I really love these two deeper shades mixed together. Looks really good on my face. I think they're called... Sombre and Shadow Play. Those are really cute and they look really, really good as a contour on my face. For the eyes, I'm actually wearing this one today. It's the Lorac Unzipped Desert Sunset Palette. And oh my God, this palette is so pretty. I remember when I bought it, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna wear that very much. And I was right, I haven't really worn it. But today's the first day I tried it and it looks so good on the eyes. Like 
so so good so if you guys want to see a tutorial with this palette let me know I want to get some use out of it because the colors are stunning they're like those jewel toned purples and maroons and this is a stunning stunning palette and Lorac's, Lorac's eye shadow quality is just amazing the last palette that I have is the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette. This is another palette that I didn't get much use out of when it came out. Such a good palette though. I used it a lot, but not as much as I thought I would. And then I kind of put it down pretty quickly and just forgot about it and didn't really pick it back up. But this palette is so good. So, so good. This was the last thing I opted to get out of the whole um, Too Faced uh what was it sweet peach collection i got the foundation the primer the setting powder the setting spray and then i went back and actually purchased this when they had it on sale one day and i'm really really glad i did because it's such a good palette one more eye product i have the lime crime super foil water activated metallic eyeshadow duo and i have the one in electric and bar barbarella and these colors super pretty like the one Barbarella is like a purple and then electric is this beautiful like foiled gold and these look so pretty on the eyes look at them oh so I'm gonna pair those with one of these palettes I'm gonna get a makeup tutorial out for you guys really soon I feel like it's been a minute since I've actually done a makeup tutorial on my channel I think it's been like a month maybe maybe longer so I'm gonna get out a makeup tutorial really soon for you guys I have three highlighters here two of which I like to mix together so I put them both in here and I actually have it on today it's really pretty they're the Becca shimmering skin perfectors this one is in the infamous opal and this one is in bronze amber mixed together they make such a beautiful shade like I said I have it on today and I just really love how it looks so those two I'm going to try to use some more of this month as well as this Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Luminizer. I don't wear liquid highlighters hardly ever. I have no idea why I have so many but I barely wear them so I really want to try to give this one a shot and just be conscious at, conscious at putting it on underneath my powder highlighters. I just have a few more products you guys. I have two powders. The first is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. This is one that I am looking to use up pretty soon. I can see the rings in the pan. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can definitely see the rings in the pan. So I know I'm really close to hitting pan on this. This is one of my favorite powders. As you can see, it's broken because I use it so much, but this is one of the best powders at the drugstore at keeping you matte. So I love it. And then I have the Lancome Translucent Powder. This is their Silky Loose Powder. And first off, I just want to say the packaging on this is absolutely terrible because this stuff, like the jar just doesn't close all the way. So the powder comes out even when the jar is closed. This packaging is awful. And for it to be as expensive as it was, and it wasn't insanely expensive. It wasn't like 50 bucks, but it was like $37. So for it to be that expensive, I feel like the packaging should have been a little better thought out. But either way, the powder looks amazing. It's like a filter for your face. It looks that good. And so I really like this powder. Lastly, I have two foundations that I wanted to share with you guys. Both of these, one I have not worn at all yet. And the other one, I've only worn it once. And that one is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. Only wore this once, but I actually really liked it. And I have mine in the shade 400 Caramel. And the bottle looks dark, but it's actually a lighter color on the inside. So I really like that. The only thing I don't like is it has like this sponge tip applicator, which I just feel like is going to be really disgusting after a while. So I probably won't keep this foundation for long, but um, I really did like it when I used it. So... 
And the last foundation that I have, again, is a brand new one. This is the brand new Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation. I want to do a full review on this one for you guys, so I'm going to start wearing it so I can get some feedback on it. Let me know if you guys want to see a first impressions or a full review on this. Let me know that down below, and I'll go ahead and get that out for you. But I've heard a lot of hype about this foundation, so I can't wait to try it. Alright you guys, so that is it for me. Those are all the products that you guys will see sporadically throughout the month on my Snapchat, my Instagram, my Instagram stories, my Facebook, my YouTube channel. You guys will see those everywhere because I'm going to be using these babies and hopefully get some reviews and some videos out for you guys. If there is a product in particular that you want to see, let me know down below in the comment section and I will be happy to pump that video out for you guys. So speaking of social media, don't forget to follow me on my social media. Again, my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Facebook fan page. I am always on social media, and that is the best way to keep up with me in between uploads. Also, like I told you at the beginning, don't forget to follow my family vlog channel so you can get a little sneak peek into my life. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel, and I will see you